welcome to the Solo Station. My name is Jaren, and today we are going to be doing a playthrough of Palm Island. Now, if you have not heard of this game, um, it's quickly becoming one of my one of my favorites, and if nothing else, for the reason uh, that it's so portable. Um, uh, Palm Island, as the name uh, kind of gives you a hint at, is that it can be all be played in the palm of your hand. Okay, so this means that it's great for road trips, airplane flights, um, even throughout the, pa the past week, uh, we've been visiting family for the holidays, been on planes and in cars. I've had Palm Island in my backpack, played it multiple times, super easy, super versatile. It's great. Um, if you don't know how to play, I'm just going to kind of teach you as we go. It's probably the best way to teach it. Uh, but let's let's jump right into it. So Palm Island. Uh, so uh, setup is pretty easy. You're going to pull out all of the cards with this blue banner here in the middle, and there should be 17. Okay. Uh, so you're going to pull out all 17, um, counting the round the round marker. Pull out all 17, put them in a deck, and then make sure that each card has this. Um, little logo uh, of a sun uh, in the in the top left hand corner, okay. Making sure they're all facing the right way. All of the logos are in the top left hand corner. We look good. Um, should give it a quick shuffle, um, and I've already shuffled it before the video, but I'll give it another one um, right here, pretty quick, and slap the round marker on the top, and just like that, you're ready to go. Okay, so here's how you play. So you have eight rounds in order to get as many victory points as possible. So we're, gonna, we're going through the first round here, which is why we have this number one um, on the top of this card. So that says, hey, this is the first round. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to throw that at the back so we already know that this is the first round. Okay, here we go. So in Palm Island, you are able to look at the top two cards in order to decide what you'd like to do. Um, so here at the beginning, we have a choice between the logger and the canoe house. Okay, so we can choose either one to do um, actions on. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, grabbing some items, trying to, to get as many items as possible in order to spend to upgrade houses and temples and get victory points. Okay, so these are items that are available to us. If you see this green arrow, that means that you are able to take that card as an item. Okay, and if you see right here, it'll tell you the cost. Both of these are free, okay? So you're able to do an action with either the top card or the second uh, most card. And uh, just for an example, we're just gonna take the logger, and whenever you take an item, like this one is free, you take it, spin it 90 degrees, set it at the back, and then right here off to the side is gonna be kind of what your inventory is, okay? So now that we've done that, we can now reveal the second most card, uh, and it's another logger for free. Okay, so here we have the fish, and it says, hey, you can turn this uh, completely upside down for one fish, or you can flip it over onto its back for one fish. And as you see, if we flip it 90 degrees, it's going to give us two fish, and if we flip it onto the bag, it's going to give us a fish in the log. So it's a great way to begin upgrading your cards uh, and, and kind of um, making your deck more powerful the, the more rounds you go through. Okay, so we're going to take this free fish. Throw it at our back here, and now we have a fish and a log. Reveal the second card. Ugh, another fish. Wow, we're getting very lucky. Okay, so here's where I think we're going to do our first, uh, first kind of real action of the game. So this is a free log. We can take this and put it behind in our inventory, but instead here's what we're going to do. We're going to upgrade this card for one fish and one log. You see the, the, the cost right here. So we're going to spend one fish and one log and you just put them back in the deck, the same orientation they were before, and we're gonna turn this 180 degrees. So now this is our newly updated card. So as you can see, it's, it's still a log, it's still free, but look, we get a victory point at the end of the game. So it's a, it's a good way that we can uh, snag those victory points at the very beginning. So we upgrade that, it's gonna go to the back of the deck Reveal the top two cards. Okay, so here's the temples I was talking about. Uh, so these are one of your main way to get victory points. Obviously, we do not have what we need to, to be able to flip that. So we're going to take this fish, okay, put them right here. And as you can see, it's, it's all completely in one hand. That's what I love this game for that. All right, so we have um, our temple. We obviously can't do anything. We're going to take this free canoe house, put it back there. Okay, still in there. But now we can flip our quarry, and I'll just give you a little, show you a little bit what the quarry does. So we can flip our quarry for two fish, and that means we're gonna flip it completely over. And look, 
we're going to start getting some stone, okay? And that's a free action. So we're definitely going to want to do that because we're going to want to uh, start getting some stone for the, some things we want to buy later on. Um, typically, um, in these first um, few rounds, I just try to get as many items as possible. So we spin those two fish, put the rock in the back. Very good. All right. Get resituated here. Okay. Here's where we're at. Temple, Toolmaker, can't really do much there. So uh, whenever you can't do actions, uh, the only thing you can do is take the top card, discard it. Okay, so that's what we did there. We didn't have any actions. We got another log. We'll take the log, put it in the back. Um, here, uh, you see this one, there's a log and a fish. Don't have either of those to spend. The little slash mark means or, two fish or two logs. Don't have either one. So what do we do? All we can do is discard the top card, put it in the back. All right. Reveal. Quarry, again, don't have anything there. Can't do anything there. All, well, actually, we can do something there. So what we can do is spend our log to flip this over. Let's see what it would give us. So we can go from a fish and a log to three fish. Um, you know, let's hold off on that for a little bit. Let's hold off on upgrading this card because, yeah, let's, we're going to hold off. So we're going to throw this in the back. Okay. Reveal the next most card. Uh, still nothing we can do. Discard top card. Okay, reveal the next one. Okay, so we can get our first stone. So let's go ahead and do that. It says, uh, put this card as an item. If you can spend uh, one log or one fish, spend a log, grab the rock, put it there. Perfect. All right, don't have that. Can't do anything there. Have to discard the quarry to the back. These first couple of rounds are gonna be kind of slow as you as you uh, keep trying to upgrade these cards. Um, but the, the later rounds, once you actually have some items to spend. We'll be able to upgrade these, this housing and the temples. Uh, you'll be able to see a lot more victory points cropping up. Okay, so here's where we're at. Uh, can't do anything here, discard this. And we are now at our round tracker, okay? So the round tracker says, hey, you're, you just finished round one, flip it 90 degrees, and look, you're in round two currently. So this is gonna be round two, playing to eight rounds. All right, here we go. Okay, free logger, we're gonna take that, push it behind here reveal we have um like a stone you can do that but we can do this okay let's put this here let's see what we can upgrade this logger to ah two logs probably going to be worth it like i said in these first few rounds um, upgrading your item cards is, is key okay um so we're going to flip that throw it in the back spin our two items just like that so I've played this game um, probably, I don't know, seven, eight times now, and I have yet to get above um, 30 victory points, okay? So that is my goal here with you today. Let's see if we can get to 40 victory points, or 30 victory points. I don't know if we'll make it. We're certainly gonna try. So as you can see, grabbing a quarry here. Now I have two fish. I can begin upgrading this fish. Um, so I can either spin one to get make it two fish, or spin one to flip it and make it a fish in a log. We're gonna upgrade it and let it be um, two fish. So that um, costs one to spin it like this. We're going to spin the frontmost item and I'll tell you why. If ever an item goes unused and it's, you see it pop back up into the front card of your deck, it immediately gets discarded and you lose it. Okay, so it's important that you wanna kind of use the items as they come. Okay, take this free log. Um, yeah, we're missing a stone. Otherwise, we can upgrade this temple. Okay. Um, so instead, let's let's um, upgrade the toolmaker. Let's see what he can do. So if we spend one fish, one log, we'll be able to flip this over. Ooh. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So one log, one fish, flip over the toolmaker, and then discard it to the back. So you can kind of see there's a rhythm to the game. Uh, as you can imagine, if you get this game and you play it on road trips and such, uh, it, it goes quicker and quicker every time. You kind of get into a rhythm and kind of figure things out. Okay, can't do anything here. Another with a, one rock. Have to discard the temple. Okay, let's see what we got here. Um, yeah, again, nothing there. And this is, the, this is where you can kind of see uh, some issues in your deck. I know that I've played a few rounds where it seems like all of my temples are together and... 
um, that makes it difficult to upgrade them because by then you've already spent all your items or you only spend it on one. So um, kind of how you shuffle your, your deck is going to, going to affect how you play the game ultimately. Yeah, see, still nothing there that we can do quite yet. Reveal, nothing there we can do. Hope I'm not going too fast for you. Um, but as you can see, we only have one rock and you know there's just nothing we can do here later on the deck. So we'll keep that in mind that we're gonna need more items when it comes to later in the deck. And maybe we wanna kinda hoard some items. All right, there we go. Uh, end of round two, it says, hey, flip this card over. Just like that. Round three, we here we are, okay? So round three. Grab the law. Oh, well, you know what? I get ahead of myself. So, yeah, we got, uh, um, yeah, let's grab the log. Reveal. Um, we'll grab two logs here. As you can see, we have three items. You have a max of four. Um, we have the fish again. So now we're at our max, but we have some options here. Let's see what this shows. Oh, so our quarry, see, this is what I was talking about. Our quarry is going to uh, be um, spoiled at this point. We're not gonna be able to use it um, if we, once we spin this fish, it's unfortunate, but there was just nothing we could spin it on. So uh, we're gonna spin this fish, however, and let's flip this to this side this time, okay? So we spent one fish to flip the canoe house, put that in the back, darn, Spend it, throw it to the back. All right, what we got? We got two fish for free or one log for free. Um, we got plenty of logs. Let's go ahead and take the fish. Pull this down. Oh, again, man, see, this is what I'm, we got a ton of stuff, just a ton. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the tool maker, throw him back there, and then we're gonna sp immediately spin the tool maker, the one fish and the one log to then upgrade the logger, turn it 90 degrees, another victory point for us, throw it to the back. Reveal this, trade house, we can get the fish and the log for two or two, um, we can be, upgrade some options, we don't have the stone that we need for the temple, <sighs> I mean I hate that. Um, let's see what the trade house gives us, three or three, I like how, um, you know what, let's spend the two logs to grab the trade house into our inventory. Maybe we can spend that a little bit there. Okay, so the, here's the quarry. So the cool thing about the quarry is, is that you actually, this is going to give us rock, but you have to mine it out first. We have to spend some resources in order to pull this out. So we need two fish or two logs. We have two fish here. Spend them, grab the quarry, flip it throw it to the back. And like I said, that gives us a, a rock that we're gonna need later on. Um, and it's free, unlike this one, um, which is going to cost us one log or one fish. Let's discard the temple. Ugh. No, you know what, let's spin the log, grab the stone. Uh, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done that. See, now we can mine this quarry again if I wouldn't have done that. Well. I was trying to uh, go for this temple. I was hoping we'd get another rock that we could uh, open this temple up with, but we'll discard the temple and reveal the housing. We're gonna do that. Spend one log, one fish, one log, one fish. Spend it, just flip it. One victory point for us into the back. All right, so still we have a stone. I think we're gonna end kind of in that uh, item doldrum at this point where we can't really do much. We have one stone. I think this is exactly where we were last time where we had all these things that we had, we wanted to buy, but only one stone. I remember we lost it. So it seemed like we kind of repeated history there. Okay, one stone and we, this they said, hey, you would just finish round three, prepare to go into round four. Throw it in the back, halfway there. All right, speed rounds here. We're gonna grab the log. Grab the log. Grab the canoe house. So this is this is what's difficult. Is all of our items are at the front of our deck. I don't know that I want to. Uh, do I want to upgrade this? Well, yeah, maybe I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. So one fish, one log. Oh, one log. 
and uh, that flips this 90 degrees throw it to the back okay so here we have the quarry it is free we'll take it i should have revealed the top two there sorry there we go okay so um can't upgrade this we could upgrade the tool maker if we wanted tool maker if we wanted to um the tool maker to upgrade the tool maker, we need one of everything uh, that would be bad we could upgrade the logger um decisions decisions what does the logger give us so the logger if we upgrade it is going to give us uh two logs later on however if we upgrade the tool maker it's going to give us one of everything i think that's more beneficial so let's it, it, it seems counterintuitive but we're going to spend everything okay and we're going to get this item later on i think that's going to help us a lot um to get those last few things in our deck that we can't seem to ever buy. So, okay, grab the log. And you might have other opinions on what I'm doing. You might not agree with my moves, but you can buy the game and uh, see how well you do. See, we're at that same place now where we uh, have to lose our stone. Nothing we can really do here with the trade house. We could flip it to the other side, but I kind of like having the one of each there. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's spin that one log to flip the trade house and put it in the back. Okay, well, we found our stone. Just immediately gets discarded. Okay, temple. Again, nothing we can do. Nothing we can do. Nothing we can do, nothing we can do. And here we are at the beginning again. All right, finish round four, flip it, going into round five. Here we go. Okay, uh, let's grab the logger. Grab the logger. Do I wanna do that? Yeah, I gotta grab the logger. Um, We'll grab the canoe house this time and let's spin the canoe house to then flip the quarry, get some victory points, get two rocks. I like it. I like where that's going. All right. Uh, let's, uh, my mom always said two fish is better than one. So we'll take the two fish. My mom never ever said that, but maybe I can start saying that. Ah, oh, here's this, here's this tool maker that we upgraded last round. And uh, that, that, that's going to help us. So I hate to let an item go to waste. So the only thing I see we can do is spin the two fish and then um, rotate it this way and put it in the back. And then we can take the tool maker so that we only have four in our slot. Oh, crap. That's okay. We can spend it. So we're gonna spend these two items. And the great thing about spending it so late in the game is that we immediately are gonna get it back. Um, so spend those two items, and then we get to uh, upgrade our logger, which gets us victory points. So that's good news. Okay, let me just kind of adjust where I'm at here. Okay, pull this out. Those are our items. We get our we got our quarry back. So we're gonna, we're gonna put him in our inventory. Welcome back, old friend. So glad to have you with us. We missed you. We knew you'd come back for us. Uh, do we? So the question is, do we want to upgrade the market? I, we can upgrade the trade house, but or take the trade house. But I'm not sure that we do want to do that at this point. I think what I'm going to do is spend two logs. Okay, spend two logs in order to flip the market 90 degrees. That gets us a rock and a fish. Okay, put that back. Get our trade house back here. Okay, where are we at? 
So the temple requires one of everything and two. Guys, we just upgraded our first temple. Here we are, finally, breaking through the, this just massive buildings at the back of our deck that's been causing us so much trouble. We're going to spend all of our stuff. We needed one fish, one log, and two stone. We got it. Flip the temple. Three victory points. Good work. Throw on the back. All right. Straighten everything up here. Okay. And here we are. Back to the back with nothing. Um, if, you, if you've ever played Maiden's Quest, uh, this is very similar to Maiden's Quest in the sense that you can hold it all in, in one hand. Um, but I think I like this better. It's just so much simpler, quicker, easier, and, and it's still challenging. It's still challenging. Uh, just my opinion, though. Just my opinion. All right. Got some loggers here. Um... Let's take the two logs for now. We might see ourselves grabbing that last log maybe, or I kind of want to upgrade it because the loggers give you victory points as well. Let's see how far this gets us. Okay, snag that. Wow, guys, we've got a lot of items here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spend this one log, two fish to do the one fish, one log. Um, you can spend more than what's required. You just don't get any change. So that's what that, that's going to give us a victory point. So yeah, upgrading the loggers is kind of a kind of an easy way to not only get some items but also get some victory points at the end. And there, I believe there's a stone card that does that as well. Okay, canoe house it's free, toolmaker's free. I like toolmaker a little bit better, I think. Guys, this would be the perfect spot for a temple. I mean, look at all the just the assortment of items we have. You know what? We're going to upgrade the logger. So two stone, two wood, two stone, two wood, upgrading the logger, flipping it 90 degrees, and that gives us five victory points, just like that. Put it on the back. Okay, let me get readjusted here. I hope you guys are, are liking this game. It's um, it's just very interesting. and It's kind of it's kind of hard to to kind of see how, how different it is until you actually get the game and try it for yourself. And, and you'll begin to realize just how portable and how, how mobile and just how creative it is. And, and, and by the way, this isn't uh, everything that comes in the, in the, in the box. So um, if you get the box, there's just, there's just kind of like, almost like mini expansions. Hold on, let me, let me look at this. So the temple, we're short of rock. We could, yeah, that wouldn't, yeah, we'd uh, yeah, we're short some logs too, man. Okay, we're just gonna discard this to the back. I hate to do it, but I want to try to get to some things we can actually get. Again, the trade house. Well, the temple isn't gonna help us. Here we go, the housing. So one of each. Boom. This card right here alone takes care of the housing, upgrades it to three victory points, and that, ladies and gentlemen. See how you snag those quick points. So here we have a quarry that we have not mined yet. We're going to go ahead and do that. Spin two fish, flip the quarry over, and get some rock. Okay. Yeah, we're missing some wood. Wood would be nice. Maybe, just maybe, there's some wood hidden around the corner. No. Yeah, we all know where we're at now. We're at the place where there's a whole lot of nothing. Okay, well, that was round six, heading on to round seven. Almost done, almost done. Okay, um, as I was saying, in the box, there's kind of some mini expansions, um, uh, kind of, sort of. There's some villagers you can add in, which kind of um, give you some, uh, you can pay resources to get villagers, and they give you a special ability for the round. Um, there's also some, um, I forget what they're called, they're almost like artifacts that if you reach a certain achievement in a, in a, in a game, you then get that artifact into your deck, and it can help you in later games. Um, so kind of almost like a campaign mode, I guess. 
Uh, so it's just really interesting. They have a lot of, and there's there's cooperative mode where you, you and a friend work together. There's like uh, one-on-one where you and a friend go against each other. Just so much packed into small bo- a small box that it, it's, guys, it's, wor- it's worth checking out. It, it's worth checking out. So, okay, let's snag this. Okay. I've yet to play those other modes. I've only played the solo mode. Uh, played with the villagers. I haven't reached um, a point where I've, gotten um any of those artifacts just because i'm not that good i'm just not that good so okay i hate that all of our best items are up here up front like if we had this loadout uh back near those temples they'd just be so quick guys this is if we if we don't make it above 30 this is the reason why and unfortunately, and I guess that's one kind of thing that that's kind of sucks about this game. I wish there was some kind of ability or something, some kind of card that you could get that allowed you to change the position of your cards. And it is part of just kind of the luck uh, uh, portion of what the game is. It's just kind of part of it. Um, but it would be nice. Okay, we're going to upgrade this lager because we're, we're just kind of trying to get some last minute victory points here. Um, to nearest the end of the game, but the longer the back. It would just be nice to be able to to like kind of break up the monotony here, where we have just so many things up front and not a whole lot behind it. Uh, it would be great if there was a card that kind of helped us with that, but unfortunately there is not. Logger, nothing we can do. Canoe house, crap. We're gonna have to lose those two fish. Hey, don't you hate it when your two fish rot away? Go bad, and you have to throw them out. All right, grab the quarry for us here. Oh, okay, let's grab the quarry for us here. Uh, it can be kind of hard to hold these cards in one hand. It kind of takes practice, and as you can see, I've not quite got it figured out yet. Okay, um, market. Spin one log. Let's see what we got underneath it. Actually, oh man, we're short a log and a fish. Um, guys, I hate to do it, but I don't want to, I don't want to get rid of our items because these are kind of the only items we have. We have a housing here, two, two, and two still, man, this is not good. This is not good. Okay. So do we want to, yeah, we'll go ahead and grab this. Might as well. It's free. Yes. Let's spin the two fit, the two, um, rock. Grab the trade. Ooh, grab two cards there. Grab the trading house there. That kind of gives us some options, but we're still short a log in order to get this. We can upgrade this housing though. So let's spin this card. So all is not lost. We did get some victory points that round. Oh no. We could have upgraded the temple. That's all right. We'll get it next time. We didn't know. We couldn't see. All right. Could have upgraded that temple. Maybe have given us a little bit more victory points, but that's okay. All right, temple. Throw it to the back. Straighten up here. We are now at round. So that was round seven. Guys, this is round eight. So the final round, okay? So at this point, we're just going to try to get as many victory points as possible. Okay, so kind of give you an idea where we're at. Grab the two logs. We lose our, was there anything we could do there? This was how it was. Was there anything we could buy? There's nothing, there's nothing we can do there, guys. There was nothing we could do. We gotta lose the, gotta lose the quarry. That stinks. Okay, got the canoe house, canoe house. Grab this canoe house here, put it in the back. Um, the canoe house just doesn't get us any victory points, though. That's why I'm hesitant to upgrade it. Now, the logger does, so it would behoove us to upgrade the logger, but it's still missing that stone that we need. Oh, I don't know why I did that. We can, we can, we can snag those. So we'll snag those. Those are free. There we go. We got another free thing. Two, two, two. Toolmaker doesn't get us anything easier either. Let's get rid of the, we have, we have fish coming out our ears. We'll get rid of this, snag that. Okay, this logger is completely upgraded. 
Oh, we can't. Yeah, but this, liquor, this dialogue is completely upgraded. But we can't just... Oh, I guess we can. I think... I'm going to go out on a limb and say since there's nothing here, you can just put it in the back. I'm not sure on that. If I got that wrong, feel free to comment below and let me know what a rule breaker I am. But I think that we can do that. Where's all of our items? All right. Oh, goodness. Guys, I think I've... I think I failed you. I think I failed you. I don't know that we're going to reach our 30 point mark. I think I failed. Corey doesn't. Oh, it gives us victory points. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade this. Two fish, one log. Two fish. Guys, look at that. Look at that. We're going to flip this over. We get this two stone, which aren't going to help it in the later round, but it gets us a couple of victory points. So snag that. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab these two fish. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, blue fish, one fish. All right, two, two, three, one, one. We need this stone, but at what cost? At what cost? A log. This might be the end. There's our other stone. Uh, but we don't have room for it. Okay, what do we need here? We need two, 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 and three. Let's get rid of these. So you can just discard items in order to make room for other ones. So we're going to get rid of those in order to kind of make room for these. <sighs> Trade house doesn't get us any victory points. There's no point in spending money on that. We're going to lose these logs coming up here soon. One, one, and one. Let's go ahead and upgrade that because it's an easy one. Easy way to get victory points. Yeah, we're still short as far as stones go. Temple. Yeah, still need two. Man, that sucks. Maybe if we would have updated some quarries along the way, we would have been able to kind of do this temple went without upgrading at all. Ooh, that does not bode well. Well, and this is where we each reach the end, okay? So the eight says, hey, game's over. Good work. Let's count up the victory points, see where we're at. Let's see if I beat my score and finally got above 30. We'll see, okay? So we got uh, two there, four, nothing, 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 uh, nine, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22. Well, it's not definitely not my best, but probably not my worst. So we got 22. Uh, they can't, can't give you this card here that shows you. Uh, when you're playing solo, you get 22. It's respectable. So feel free to respect me down in the comments. Uh, I am a respectable person according to... Get out of here. Get out of the way here. Palm Island. Once again, highly recommend it. Uh, love it. Even I bought this off Amazon and it came with this little travel wallet that you can actually put the deck in, which is super cool, kind of portable way to put it in your backpack and take it on the bus or whatever. So uh, just a great game all around. Hope you enjoyed the play th playthrough. And uh, my name is Jaren. Thanks for stopping at the solo station.